what do we have here? We have a new version of the Google application with a new design, new functionality. Why is this important? If you are the type of person to be always up to date with the latest news around mobile technologies, then you know why. And that's probably also the reason you're watching this channel. So welcome back on the NFT Stack VST and I'm gonna be guiding you guys through the latest updates. So if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing for this channel. I'm covering the latest mobile news, be it on Android, be it on iOS, be it on some custom Android things like the MIUI, the Oxygen OS, or the Samsung S21 One UI. All the new things I try to cover, guys. Today I have decided to share with you the latest redesign of the Google application. And what I'm showing right now on the screen is indeed the Discover feed, because this is what is coming. On the right side, I have my Pixel 3a device running the latest Android 12 developer preview 3. And here on the left side, I have the Xiaomi Mi 11 running Android 11. This is still on MIUI 12.01, and I'm still waiting to get the 12.5, so this is gonna be a whole lot of video, guys. So, what are the new things into the design? And I'm now lucky to have the same cars on my both phones. As we can see here on the right side, this is the new Google Discover Feed design. The cards really are separated now by only a very, very thin line, right? As we can see here in the old design, each card is very distinctive, bigger, and also separated by what is here, very big line and space. Now this is gone. And because this line here is very thin, you are no longer able to see the translucent background. This was available here into the previous version. Now this is gone forever. Okay, so not only are you getting a smaller card, but also some other things are different. Now pay attention to the buttons, okay? Here we have YouTube, GSM Arena. This was updated six days ago. Now here in the latest design, we see only GSM Arena official, but it's represented better. You can just see the logo, right? So compared to here, here you only see GSM AR. Here you see the full name of the channel and down below you see YouTube six days, 6D is abbreviated, okay? Here we have a heart button and also a share button. And then the more button is like this, okay? You're either not interested into this story or etc. Here we have another button. So it's no longer like this hamburger menu. It's like this filter menu. And again, it is the same functionality, but the buttons are redesigned. Probably, probably the biggest redesign is here at the top. Here you can see a very distinctive Google logo, okay? Then you can see the snapshot button, which is here, okay, right? And then we can see your logo here, okay? You have the Google search bar, then you have the snapshot, and then only you have your logo at the right of the screen. Interestingly enough, here I can still see the weather card and I cannot see the weather card on my new design, but hey, there are more changes. So not only the buttons have been redesigned, but also the cards went smaller and also the alignment change, okay? Now, honestly, I cannot say that I can instantly fall in love with this new design. The old design was good enough and this big distinctive line here was making it easier for me to just separate the rest of the cards from each other. Now, of course, there are also some downsides. The way the content is all represented is a bit more minimalistic. So if we just scroll down and try to find the same content here, see, here we have Conan Gray creates the playlist of his life, Teen Vogue. Okay, here we have the same. So when it's up to video content, pretty much the same. Video-wise, the content appear to be almost the same. Again, the alignment is different, but the text articles are represented in a different way. Let's just see an example here. This article, HBO Max delay a series because of Prince Philip's death. And then you can see also some excerpt from the article itself. Here, you just have the picture, right? The title, HBO Max delays the series. And that's pretty much it. If we scroll down, you're gonna see the same behavior, okay? See here. 39 photos of this and that, and then you have some except from the article itself. Here, the design approach is a bit more minimalistic, but just take a look at this. This phone is drastically smaller than that phone, and still here we can bring one, two, three cards. As to this phone here, we know we can just bring two or three cards. Yeah, probably getting the new design will allow you to have more cards into one screen, making it a bit more comfortable guys for you to scroll and navigate. Now, let's see what happens when you get to the bottom here, okay? When you get to the bottom, you see a button on the old design called more stories. If I get to the bottom of this design here, I have the same button, but it is centered, you know, it is more aligned, it has this background, more stories. If I hit it, okay, I'm gonna get more stories. 
Same happens here. Let's try to compare it. We have the same consistent design here. You have just the title, you have the picture of the article, nothing more, nothing less. Here, you know, if I have to be honest guys, this is a bit more destructive. Because not only you have the picture, then you have also the title, and then you have also some text from the card, right? And maybe this is why Google decided to redesign it, to make it not only more minimalistic, but also more simple to use. I think this one could be more appealing. Let's check another example, guys. OnePlus 9 Pro now receiving a new OxyNOS update. This only is enough for me to know, okay, should I click on this card or not? Here down below in the old design, you have some text extract from the article, but it's not the case that this gives you some additional information. I think rather on the contrary, it can be very destructive. See here, Samsung Galaxy A12 and A02 gets Android 11. And that is actually the news, right? Why then do I need to see a bit more? If I'm interested into this card, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the card like I do right now here, hit it here, and then I'm going to get this information, right? So I think these design changes, we are pretty much welcome. Google is trying to push all of this into a more simplistic design. And remember the redesign for the Play Store, it's pretty much the same, right? You get these nice logos here, you get your logo icon on the right, and it does look a bit more consistent. All of this sooner or later is gonna be part of Android 12, and this is why it's important that we understand what we're getting right now. Some of you guys might be getting this design. If you are a better tester of the Google application, you might get it also on your Android 11. This is rolled out from a server side, so you cannot really install it, right? You need to wait for it to be enabled, but hey, you might as well also have it a bit earlier. I really hope that you enjoy videos like this. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to hit me into the comments down below or join our chat in Telegram. Stay safe, you and your families, guys, and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. With that said, VST over and bye.